In all the examples that we have discussed so far, we could find exact bound. We could find theta notation for the recurrences. There might be certain situations where it might not be possible to find the exact bound. And here is one example. Let's say we have this recurrence relation Tn equal to Tn by 4 plus Tn by 2 plus Cn and T1 is C. So if I break this using a normal recursion tree method, what will happen? I'll write the non-recursive part, then I'll write the recursive parts. Then I'll break it further. Non-recursive part of this is going to be Cn by 4. This is going to be Cn by 2. Then Tn by 16, Tn by 8, Tn by 8 and Tn by 4. And if I do the sum of these terms, I'll get 3 Cn by 4 here and Cn here. Now, uh, if I do the sum of these uh, four terms, I'm going to get uh, Cn by 16 plus Cn by 8 plus Cn by 8 plus Cn by 4. So this sum of these two is going to be uh, Cn by 4, right? And sum of Cn by 4 plus Cn by 4 is going to be Cn by 2. And Cn by 16 plus Cn by 2 is going to be 9 Cn by 16, right? You might see a pattern now. It's a geometric progression with common ratio as 3 by 4, right? Cn, 3 Cn by 4, 9 Cn by 16. Now the problem here is all the leaves, they are not going to be at the same level. That's why I, this is special. That's why I said we are going to find an upper bound, right? So it's not going to be uh, exact geometric progression till the bottom, right? It's going to be geometric progression up to certain points. Then this node will exhaust or finish first. You will see a leaf node very early here and you will see a leaf node very late here in the last side, right? Why? Because we are uh, reducing it by 4 here, 4, 16, then 64. And here we are reducing by 2. So 2, 4, 8, 16, right? And you will see somewhere in the middle uh, here in the leaves. So here the leaf is going to be uh, the topmost leaf and it's going to be the bottommost leaf. It's going to be something like a tree where you have uh, this at the uh, very early and this at very late and somewhere in the middle in the middle subtrees. So how do we find the uh, exact bound? See, it's very, very difficult to find the exact bound. So what we do, we uh, assume that the tree is full. We say we, we don't uh, assume that there are, uh, we don't find the exact bound, right? We assume that the tree is full and using this assumption, we find a value and we say it's an upper bound, right? Because we are considering the tree to be full and we are calculating that value and the actual value would be less than that because we are doing somewhere less work than this. So that's what I meant by upper bound. So what I do is I consider this geometric progression, right? The geometric progression is Cn plus 3Cn by 4 plus 9Cn by 16, right? And it's going to be go on like this. If I consider this uh, tree as full, then how many terms the series would have? Basically, we need to find the uh, depth of the rightmost leaf, right? And this is going to be reducing by 2, n equal to n by 2, n by 4 and so on. And we know the number of terms for that. It's theta of log n, right? We've done it multiple times. So there are theta log n terms in the series, right? And this series is a geometric progression. And the common ratio of this geometric progression is 3 by 4, right? It's less than 1. So one way is we find the exact value of this using the formula 1 minus r raised to the power n divided by 1 minus r. It's going to be uh, complicated, right? What we can do is we are anyways finding an upper bound, right? We can use big O and we can find the sum of infinite series. Because sum of infinite series with a common ratio less than 1 is very simple. It's a upon 1 minus r. So we are going to have a cn upon 1 minus 3 by 4, right? And this turns out to be a big O of n only, right? Because we, these are just constants. So an upper bound on this recurrence is big O of n, right? So we could use recursion tree method to find an upper bound. And it's a good upper bound, right? Not bad upper bound. Not like n square or n cube. We could find big O of n linear time upper bound on this recurrence relation. Here is one more example. We are going to use recursion tree method to find an upper bound. See, uh, whenever you see a recurrence where one term is changing at a different speed and the other term is changing at a different speed, then you can get upper bound only using recursion tree method, right? Because doing exact computations might be difficult. So uh, why, why are we getting upper bound here? See, uh, if you draw the recursion tree of this, what will happen? It's changing, it's being reduced one, one, one at a time. It's reduced two, two, two at a time. So you will have uh, a tree like this where this will be finished very fast. 
सो यू विल हैव अ ट्री वेयर दिस लीव विल बी कमिंग वेरी अर्ली एंड दिस लीव विल बी कमिंग वेरी लेट राइट अ ट्री लाइक दिस यू विल हैव राइट सो यू इट विल नॉट बी लाइक अ ट्री वेयर एवरी लीव इज एट द सेम लेवल दिस लीव इज वेरी हाई एंड दिस लीव इज वेरी लो राइट so we can't find the exact bound right we can't do the exact sum here we need if we do we need lots of more mathematics it's difficult so what are we going to do we are going to consider this as a perfect tree and we are going to find an upper bound so pause this video now and find an upper bound so here is solution using recursion tree method we have first written the non recursive part then recursive parts then again non recursive part and recursive parts and then we did it again and we found the pattern that it's a geometric progression with common ratio 2 we are doing c work here 2c here 4c here right but the point is it's not going to be a full tree it's not going to be a geometric progression after certain terms what will happen this will uh, finish very early and then you will have various uh, variations from the geometric progression right it won't be exact geometric progression right so it might happen after certain terms it's not the double right it's less than double then more less than double and then it finishes slowly right okay. so something like this is going to happen so what we do here is we find an upper bound we don't do the exact mathematics we find an upper bound we consider this as a full tree right and we say okay we can't do the exact analysis because it requires too much mathematics we find, give you an upper bound that's what recursion tree uh, method claims so what we do is we consider all n terms we consider this geometric progression and put a big o notation here right big o our friend right whenever you don't know the exact bound you use big o notation and uh, we have already discussed uh, some of the series for n terms it turns out to be 2 to the power n although in the earlier example we used theta notation now we are using big o notation because it's an upper bound right we have used big o here so we are using big o here as well